Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I love enamel pins, but they're so expensive. So today we're making them using something that you already have at home, tin foil, also known as aluminum foil. Let's get started. First, I got out some paper, and on my paper, I'm going to draw out my template. You can draw any design that you would like, but I went for an ice cream cone today. I drew my two-tiered ice cream cone using a pen you can also use a pencil it really doesn't matter so once i'm happy with my template i placed it on some tin foil and i drew over those outlines again i applied a bit of pressure so i can transfer the design onto the foil then i went over those lines to make them more engraved i'd say so basically on the back side, these lines are going to be raised up, which is the side we're going to use. Then I got out some cardboard. I applied a thin layer of glue using a glue stick onto that cardboard. Then I also applied some glue on the tin foil on the part that I drew on. Then I stuck everything together and pressed everything down. Then using a pair of scissors, cut around everything roughly. Time to get your paints out. I chose a very pastel color palette, but you can choose any color palette of your choice. Really, it doesn't have to be the exact colors that I chose. So I'm basically filling in all of those areas. Make sure that you don't paint over those raised up lines because you want to maintain that silver outline. So I applied my first coat, then my second coat, and once I'm happy with everything, I can cut it out. I use a craft knife for this part, as it gives more cleaner edges, but you can also use a pair of scissors. I cut, I cut it slightly, out, slightly outside of those lines, just so I can have like a little silver border around. And if your foil starts to peel off, you can always use a glue stick to stick everything together. Then using a pair of scissors, I'm doing slight adjustments. Now we can get our glaze slash varnish out. I put a, a drop of that onto my pin directly. Then using a toothpick, I spread everything into a thin layer of varnish. The varnish will give slight shine to our pin and also protect all the paint from chipping off or fading over time. Then I let everything dry for 24 hours. So once everything is dry, I you can totally skip this part, but I went ahead and I painted the back of my pins with some silver acrylic paint. This part is so optional, you don't have to do it at all, but I just think it adds something a little bit extra to it. You won't be seeing this part anyway, so yeah. Then I used a safety pin, which I glued to the back of my pin using some hot glue, and that's it. This project was so easy and simple to make. I loved the way everything turned out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!